question for you. Have you ever seen anybody smoking meat and you're thinking, man, that looks really cool, but I don't have any of the equipment that they have, but hey, I do have a Weber kettle. That's how I started, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to cook and smoke, and I'm gonna show you some tricks along the way. All right, let's start. The first thing we wanna do in our arsenal fun is light the charcoal. We're using some lump charcoal for this, but here's the deal, lump charcoal can be kind of difficult to start. So our first tip is to start your charcoal, use some briquettes. And I'm just gonna put some briquettes down here, and I'm actually gonna put several more in, and then we're gonna throw in our lump. Let's do it. We already have the two in there, so I'm just gonna put in about 10 more pieces of charcoal, and that should bring us up to 12. Next thing we wanna do is just start pouring in the lump, and as you can see, it's kind of funny shaped. There's some big ones in there. I know there was a big one I saw it go in. Anyhow, let's light it. Now to light this, I'm just using a piece of dried up tumbleweed. I'm just gonna go in there and I'm gonna start that tumbleweed. And just let it burn. The meat we're gonna smoke today is tri-tip. Actually, tri-tip roast, I believe. So I'm just gonna go, just like any other meat, and kinda look for that fat on there that I don't want. Anything that's hard, it's not gonna add any extra flavor to this whatsoever. Fat right there that I don't want. People might want it, that's cool. Leave it if you want. I don't. Make sure you have a sharp knife to do this with, because man, it will help. This appears to be some kind of silver skin. So, I'm gonna try to cut underneath it. Cut it away. Silver skin has absolutely no value whatsoever when it comes to flavor. Perfect, that looks pretty dang good. All right, now it's time to put some shake on, and I'm gonna give you another tip. Use a drip pan. When you're cooking this meat on the Weber kettle, you're gonna wanna have a drip pan down below for all that extra oil and fat that's gonna come off of there. It's gonna come off the meat. And the reason why you want that as well, and that drip pan is gonna prevent that oil and fat from catching fire. Now I'm using a binder here that's just extra virgin olive oil. Now this is why I like to drip pan for this part. Is I'm just gonna use some Uncle Steve's competition cow shake. You don't have to have anything crazy or special. You can use salt, pepper, salt, pepper, garlic, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, SPGO, whatever you want. I love Uncle Steve's products. And there you go. You see how less of a mess we have there? All of our extra shake that we can use for our sides down in the drip pan. Now it's time to let our meat rest for just a moment and wait for our charcoal to come up to temp. Right now, we have a great glow going on. You see that? That charcoal is lit. So these are just kind of charcoal holders. I'm gonna put the first one in there. I'm gonna use two. Because we're doing this, when you, we're doing this two zone. The second one goes in. Let's throw these on top. Couple of extras. So what do I mean by zones? So this zone is the direct heat zone. This zone is the indirect heat zone. Put that on top. Now what I like about this, look at that flip, and I can just continue to pour charcoal in there if I need to. We're gonna start on the meat. I'm just gonna put the drip pan down below. Put our meat over it, just like that. So I'm just gonna put a couple of pieces of mesquite wood down. Perfect, see how that works? I can put mesquite wood in there, whatever wood, and charcoal. And cover it. That is perfect. Now, all right, this has been on for 50 minutes. I just wanna kinda of give you a look at this. What do you think? Damn, that looks good. Let's give it a little bit of a probe. 
don't know if you can see that or not. 124, that is just about perfect. Give it another shot. Yeah, 131, I am liking that. We're gonna remove our tri-tip and we're just gonna put it on right there. We're gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes. And the reason being is this thing is still cooking inside, but after 10 minutes, it'll stall out and it's just perfect to cut into and take a look at it. Been about 10 minutes and now it's time to cut in. Oh, oh man. Take a look at that inside. Oh my goodness, I can hardly wait to try this. It smells amazing. Cut a couple more slices off of this. I'm telling you, this is just about the most perfect cook you could possibly have. Yeah, oh. It's time to plate this up and try it. All the tricks that I shared with you made this happen. And you know what the best part about it is? We use zero lighter fluid. I'm ready to try this out. Mm. Amazing. There's just a myriad of flavors in here. So crazy good. Shot. Give it a shot on your Weber kettle. So easy. All right. There you have it, friends. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll talk to you next time on the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. It's been about 10 minutes, and now it's time to cut in. Oh, oh man. Take a look at that inside. Oh, my goodness. I can hardly wait to try this. It smells amazing.